guys? It's me with your KDR Review. Back at it again with a whole new video again. And I'm here to talk about one new scary movie that some of you guys might not know what it is, but I'm going to put your minds to it. Totally killer. And for me hearing the premise, I don't know the premise. I'm just hearing the title because I saw the little teaser clip that, um, that was announced by Blumhouse coming to Amazon where it shows like a, I think a, 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 an assortment of killers, like the original killers, like the Black Phone, uh, the Purge, Megan, stuff like that. And it shows this one final killer showing up on Halloween night, but I don't know what that's all about. I know they're going to show a panel or a whole new Blumhouse thing at Comic-Con. I might check that out because I want to be interested in this movie because I'm hearing this is a throwback to the 80s slasher horror, horror movies. I want to see what it's all about because I'm more about the slasher genre, but and let's get into this later. Let's get into the trailer. that hasn't happened yet have you seen the movie back to the future basically i'm living that movie right now which is how i know there's gonna be a murder tonight <laughs> hate time travel movies they never make any sense happy halloween how about we all stay in and hand out halloween candy no. oh that's you um know how hard this time of year is for us your damn i forgot her name i'm one of claire from our family it's not 1987 anymore stay safe honey i love you <sighs> So this premise is about her going back in time? Oh my god. I know. The 80s are almost over and I haven't even tried coke yet. <laughs> I don't know. Oh my god. Mom. Fuck off and die. Jesus, mom. Masita. Ay. Ay, ay, ay. <laughs> Masita. You know time for my birthday, bitch. <laughs> creepy ass cabin in the middle of fucking nowhere what's the big deal there's a murderer on the loose and you drove us into the woods <gasps> oh my god what i forgot to bring vodka go, go, go. you have seven and a half hours until you're stuck here forever so we have a corny killer a corny premise stop all this horror hmm. before it happens what does that mess remind you of? machines kill us all no they more just rip apart the fabric of our society via dance videos on tiktok they used dance against us. Come on out. Water's Not warm. Really. Just so you know, I don't do blowjobs. You pee out of that thing. I think maybe if she did do blowjobs, she'd still be alive. Yeah, let's not make that the lesson. Mm. 80s weed sucks. This is just dirt. Look at all these twigs. Yeah, I could give you a gummy this big that has 100 times more weed than this. has a whole new 80s aesthetic music. I like that. Hmm. I guess I'm down. I'm down to check this one out. I know Blumhouse has its whole new set of horror movies coming out on Prime. Um, I haven't checked them out, but to say this one has an interesting premise. A killer t time traveling back into the 80s of the original whatever killers or events happened there in these woods. But uh, yeah, interesting. I know I see some familiar faces. I know the main girl, she's, um, uh, I saw her in Ghostbusters. Um, she was one of the little kids and on Young Sheldon. I know that. Um, this, what did that mask remind? <gasps> Beavis from Beavis and Butthead. That's what that mask reminds me of. But, um, yeah, goofy premise, goofy, um, aesthetic. At least they're going to try something new with the slasher genre. I, we haven't seen a time travel-ish horror movie, I think. Not that I can recall. I can recall Happy Death Day. But um, that one, it was more like a Groundhog Day style going back to the same day over and over again. While the second one was more, I guess I could say it, it is kind of back to the future with the same premise, but everything has changed. Um, but still with this, I might check it out. I know it looks horny. It looks a bit low budgety for its taste because I, I can see the difference in quality versus what it would look like on a big screen with a fire budget. But yeah. 
looks fun. I might check it out. And if not, at least it's a good throwback to the 80s. As much as Fear Street was with its genre, like going back within, between time periods, let's see if this one's going to be a good throwback to the horror genre of my period. All right, guys, that's all for today. I'll see you guys in the next video. Leave a like and subscribe. I have my social medias down in the, in the description below. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.